On Thursday night in Melbourne, trans rights activists clad in balaclavas have entered the grounds of Melbourne University and graffitied across one of the buildings, trans, we are not safe. Now, this seems to be a part of a continuing campaign against Associate Professor of Political Philosophy at the University of Melbourne, Holly Lawford-Smith. Now, Holly Lawford-Smith is a gender-critical feminist, and she also uh, does a lecture in feminism at the university uh, as a part of her employment there. Now, she has been the target of continuing harassment over a few years, escalating in the last couple of months after she attended a women's rights rally in Melbourne. Now, this latest uh, act of vandalism, uh, which coincides with her lecture starting uh, not not too far away, seems to have uh, triggered the university into action to condemn uh, these activists who have taken this brazen step of this type of intimidation. And there might even now be the potential to have security placed in front of the uh, lectures where Holly Lawford Smith will be to protect her and to protect the students. Uh, that's how far this has escalated. So I'm going to read the uh, letter the vice chancellor has actually sent out to the campus to give you an idea of what's happening there. So incidents on our Parkville campus overnight. To all members of our university community, it is with great concern that I bring to your attention an incident overnight on our Parkville campus that is currently being investigated by the police as a criminal matter. Two individuals were caught on CCCTV purposefully damaging university property and putting up graffiti pertaining to transgender issues. This activity follows a distribution of material on our campuses and social media platforms recently that seeks to vilify individual members of our community. Now, even though they don't mention Holly Lawford Smith by name there, uh, if you've been following this story, uh, it does seem like they're talking about her because there has been a lot of material distributed at the campus, uh, both via online online means and also physically via posters and stickers throughout the campus that specifically target Holly Lawford Smith um, because you know these these trans rights activists hate the fact that she uh, openly uh, shares her position on the rights of women, in particular her acceptance of the reality that. Uh, adult human female is uh, what a woman is, the definition of a woman. So there's also an article on the uh, Australian that Holly's shared here, which I'll kind of uh, read a little bit of because that gives a bit more context. Um, in a hard-hitting statement sent to the university staff on Friday afternoon, Mr. Maskell warned, this type of criminal behavior seen last night has the potential to incite further physical and psychological harassment, endangering people's well-being and safety, and it needs to stop right now. The Australian understands that around midnight on Thursday, two activists smashed windows and sprayed graffiti with the words to the effect, trans, we are not safe, across the University of Sydney Minor Asian Centre building in Swanson Street in inner Melbourne. Um, and he's written here, let me be unequivocally clear, such intentional acts of damage, violence or vilification against others will not be tolerated. Resorting to violence and causing damage on our campuses is disgraceful. The vandalism occurred as the university prepares to post security guards outside feminist philosophy lecturer, lectures by gender critical feminists and the University of Melbourne's associate professor Holly Lawford Smith, which start next week. Security guards were requested by Miss Lawford Smith, who believes that biological sex is more important than gender identity, after she and her students were subjected to what she calls an authoritarian, authoritarian and gross boycott by self described transphobia activists. These activists urged students to boycott Miss Lawford Smith's lectures and they put up posters around campus declaring only a fascist takes feminism. Are you on the side of fascists and our demands, transphobes and Nazis off campus? So yeah, this article kind of goes into that a little bit more, um, but you, you get the general idea. And actually, I talked to Holly Lawford Smith on my podcast about this a few weeks ago where we discussed the issue of security, but I think things have escalated to a point where she does now require security and uh you know the university is taking that position as well because holly herself has also put in a workplace complaint against the university uh for not supporting her through this so they might be taking steps now to rectify this and ensure her safety so this is when we spoke about that particular issue you can uh, look up this whole uh, whole podcast on my um youtube channel and a philosopher again some of your audience might have heard of called uh, kathleen stock mm -hmm. who's a professor at sussex at the time she wrote an essay for Medium, kind of poking the bear at the feminist philosophers. Yeah. Like, where are you guys yeah. at on this topic? So, and this is the professor that had to end up getting bodyguards. 
Yes. <laughs> so do you, do, do you have bodyguards? <laughs> I don't have bodyguards, no. Not yet. I think things are much more dramatic in the UK than they are here. Because yeah, I've seen a very cool photo of her yes. walking around with her bodyguards. <laughs> so my, one of my colleagues told me today she'd describe so yeah, we're talking about and kind of joking about it then, but obviously things are escalating to a point where she does now need security. And we're, she was, we're actually discussing uh, a professor in the UK who is facing a similar situation uh, where she, you know, uh, Kathleen Stock, where she actually has uh, security. So I'll just show you a photo. of that. This is a photo that we were talking about. Um, you know, this is just someone going to university to, to lecture <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's academic uh, stuff that's happening, but she needs security because these trans rights activists are so aggressive and they are so intolerant of women in particular, these these female lecturers and academics uh, talking about female women's rights issues. They're so intolerant of that, that they would uh, harass them and endanger them on campus. So it's good to see that Melbourne University is taking a stance against this. But weirdly, very strange, uh, the Australian talks about this as, um, this is the, the Victorian media, the Australian media for you, mainstream media, right? Uh, the Australian says that University of Melbourne VC slams balaclava wearing transgender activists over, over campus uh, van vandalism. The Herald Sun has the total opposite of that story. Okay, University of uh, Melbourne students fear trans graffiti could incite on campus attacks. Okay, and the actual byline of this article, uh, which was shared on Twitter, fears anti-trans graffiti could entice on incite on-campus attacks. Students fear they could be physically attacked by two mystery vandals who left the University of Melbourne campus covered with disgra disgraceful anti-trans slurs. Now we know what the slur was from the Australian who said it, it said trans. We are not safe here, but the Herald Sun. For some reason, they're reporting that as a anti-trans slur. And, you know, the whole context of this we discussed just before, the letter, everything that's happening around Professor Holly Lawford-Smith, the need for her to have security. It's because these trans rights activists are actually creating an unsafe environment at the university for academics and professors, particularly uh, women and feminists who are discussing these issues. So it's really interesting how the Herald Sun has got the totally opposite story of the Australian. So I don't know if there's been a mix up in terms of what they know, uh, how they've sourced the story, uh, but yeah, it's really strange. And just from reading the actual uh, vice chancellor's letter, the impression that Herald Sun gives is not the actual impression that's given in this letter. So very strange. Uh, a lot of interesting uh, interpretations there from the news media in Australia. But anyway, guys, uh, that's my video for today. So trans rights activists are uh, running rampant here in Victoria and Melbourne and endangering, endangering women and endangering academics. Uh, if you're enjoying my videos, uh, you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Rumble and Odyssey at The Real Rukshan, or you can also search for Rukshan Fernando on those platforms. See you next time.